Hey guys, OK Al Gordon. We're here on my Skeeter ZX 150. We're going to do a walk around. We're going to show some of the storage. Um, I had some people asking about that. We're going to show my electronic setup, everything I've got going on, everything I've done to the boat, and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to start up here at the bow. Up here I got the Hummingbird Helix 7, it's the G3N. It's uh, currently stuck on mapping mode because my transducer isn't in the water. Um, trolling motor, I have the Minn Kota Fortrex. It's all right, it is what it is. Up here I've got Weedless Wedge 2 prop, transducer for my Hummingbird. I don't have too many complaints other than this guy right here on the pedal, the button, loves to get stuck. So. You give a little tap and you end up going for a ride. Um, on the trolling motor, I got the DD26 fishing uh, trolling motor cable sock protector. It's already saved my cable once. Love it, worth every penny. And I also have the DD26 foot pad because trolling motor pedals are just uncomfortable unless you're wearing shoes and I like being on my boat barefoot. Uh, coming back here in the center, I got my center storage. Um, so I just keep, you know, miscellaneous stuff in, extra fluids, all that kind of stuff. This side, I've got my rod storage, keep all the rods and everything in there. Um, you know, when I'm fishing tournaments, I like to keep them up on the deck, but, uh, making long runs and stuff. And on the way home, I, I like to keep my rods in the box. A lot of guys just strap them down to the deck and roll with it, but I'm too scared to lose things. This one, don't have too much in. It's just, you know seats and that dock line i've got my tackle you know my soft plastics uh weigh-in bags extra rod socks stuff like that i'll throw life jackets in there um coming back a little more got the cockpit uh glove box nothing special in there i just you know, keep extra gopro batteries stuff like that coming back um, I have the Lowrance HDS 12 Live, which I am more than happy about. It's on a Bass Boat Technologies mount. Um, just had this done. I don't have much time on it, but overall, I'm very happy with it. All my presets and everything. Um, so much better than the Helix 5 that comes on this boat. Um, again, it's worth every penny. It's got a meaty transducer on the back does everything that I want and need it to. Um, I guess my only complaint about it is it always throws up this bar right here. So every time I open up a new page, I gotta you know, grab that, slide it to the side. Sometimes it doesn't like to go. Go to this one, I gotta do the same thing again. Every single one, you gotta grab that bar and slide it over. And you know, it can get annoying. I'm sure there's some way to disable it. I just haven't found out how to yet. But you know, other than that, I love it. Um, yes, other than that, just stock gauges. I've got my switch panel, bilge pump, nav and anchor lights, all your live well stuff's up here. Down here, I have the Flowrite remote drain plug. Get my kill switch out of the way. Flowrite remote drain plug. I love it. There's no way to forget your drain plug. Uh, live well valve, same thing, remote by Flowrite. Got the key. And then, uh, down over here, kind of hard to see. I have my Raptor control for the Minn Kota Raptors. Pretty easy. They're nice. I love them. I got the 10-footers. They're a little hard to get in and out of the garage, but not bad. Uh, all right, let's keep moving back. Right here, got my tackle. This is where I keep probably 90% of my tackle. I mean, all my... Uh, Literally everything from, you know, I've got my terminal box, I've got, looks like spinner baits, crank baits, uh, just miscellaneous stuff. I keep some plastics and stuff in there too, top water stuff, all that kind of good stuff. In the middle here, have dual live wells. I am not sure about how many gallons they are, but they are wonderful have recirc aerate they're both lighted 
Um, I just love them. The best live wells I've personally ever had. Um, over here on the other side is just a mirror image of that side. Nothing special. I mean, in here I keep stuff like, you know, my first aid kit, fuel stabilizer. I've got some G-Juice. I love my G-Juice. It's always in my live well when I'm using it. A couple more rod socks and, you know, some bait towels, stuff like that, you know. Um, coming to the back of the boat, I got my bilge area, which is kind of a mess, but it's not too terrible. On this side, it's where really where all the cool stuff is. Got my dual Raptor pumps, which are synced. I've got my Minn Kota Precision Battery Charger. Um, interstate batteries, really just your basic dealership stuff. Um, come back to the back. I'm gonna hop down actually. This is where things really start getting fun. Yamaha VMAX 150 SHO super high output. I've been really happy with it. A lot of guys say they wish they would have got a boat with a 250. I love the gas mileage on this thing. It does 55, 57, something like that with two people, gear, and the Raptors, and I couldn't be much happier with it. Other than that, it's on a tandem axle trailer from Skeeter. Everything's lighted. Um, no, that's really it. I've been really happy with the boat. I think the only complaints that I've really had about the boat is um, had a couple gel coat issues. Nothing too crazy. Um, I see a lot of people having that problem in these newer Skeeters, you know, but I haven't, I haven't really had too many complaints. It gets up and goes on plane. I don't think it's underpowered. I don't think it's too heavy. The seats are comfortable. It rides really great. And um, yeah, um, I've been gone for a while. I haven't posted weekly videos like I've really promised between going on vacation and getting sick, going back to school. I think I have like three videos I haven't edited. I've got, shoot, one tournament which we fished which was raining the entire time. I don't know if that video is even salvageable. Uh, I've got another one with Gavin from Catchy Baits that I have to edit. I gotta go through all that footage. Uh, I got another one that I just filmed the other day, you know. I've been doing too much filming and not enough editing, but I guess we'll see. Like, subscribe, catch fish.